Restaurants will reopen tomorrow after being closed for three weeks. Eyewitness News reporter Ravithi Janaswamy talked with owners about how this second shutdown affected their business in both the short and long term. This place should be packed right now. It's a Sunday morning and we're waiting for the phone to ring. So the state ordered three week long shutdown of restaurants has almost come to an end and owners are relieved. It feels like a weight was taken off my chest. A lot of the stress has been taken away, letting us open up tomorrow. Restaurants and diners will open back up to 50% capacity on January 4th. Governor Wolf's order in December did allow for takeout, but Sabrina Seitz says food to go doesn't really work for her family's diner. The majority of our um, business is breakfast, so our takeout's been really slow because a lot of people don't order breakfast and take it's not the same when you take it home and your eggs are all like soggy and everything. Marie Brown, who owns Marie's in Durier, echoes that concern. Not that I don't think the virus is fake or anything like that. I know it's real. I know people who have gotten sick. I know people have died, but there's also people out there that are suffering different ways, you know, with with a loss of job that committed suicide and their lives are just as important as everyone else who lost their life because of COVID. Owners tell me being at 50% capacity still doesn't help their business as they just don't have the room. We only have limited amount of seats in here. So when we go from 25% to 50%, it still hurts us. But uh, as long as we can have people come in and we serve them and get them out quick enough and just keep shuffling people around, we'll be okay. In Luzerne County, Rafe DeGenaswamy, Eyewitness News. And some restaurant owners told us that if another shutdown were to happen, they would have to remain open no matter what, just to keep afloat.